This is the third of four videos looking at uh, the graphs of quadratic functions or parabolas. In this particular case, the function is in uh, vertex form. y is equal to a negative 2 times the quantity x plus 3 squared plus 4. When we're through, we're supposed to label what the y-intercepts are, what the x-intercepts are if they exist, and uh, what the vertex is, and fit them all nicely onto this piece of graph paper. So let's begin with the things that are, that are most obvious in this particular equation. This equation is in the vertex form, so we know that the vertex is at a negative 3, 4, because of this x minus a negative 3 plus 4. So we've identified where the vertex is already. We also know that it's an opening down parabola. So the graph has got to look something like this over here to negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, neg sorry, negative 3, up at 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's a negative 3, 4, and this thing has got to be opening down. We can also ask the question, so let's, let's keep track of what points we know already. <coughs> negative 3, 4 happens to be the vertex. We can ask the question, well, where is the y-intercept, or what happens when x is equal to 0? So that just is a matter of doing a little bit of calculation. Let me do it down here. Uh, y is going to be a negative 2 times 0 plus 3 quantity squared plus 4. So y has got to be, well, 0 plus 3 is is 3 squared is 9 minus 18 plus 4 so y is equal to a minus 14 so 0 minus 14 happens to be the y-intercept that's quite a ways down here 1 to 3 by the minus 14 where wherever that ends up there's the the 0 minus 14 so we've got a pretty good idea of what this graph looks like it definitely has some y-intercepts so we're going to need to find those y-intercepts. Uh, one thing that we could do is, is look at this particular function, uh, multiply it all out, and, uh, and use the quadratic formula. But look at the function a little bit more closely. I th let me pick a different color just so we can keep track. My area is getting kind of messy here. We're, we're looking for x-intercepts, so we're looking for when y is 0. And we've got this particular situation, minus 2 times x plus 3 squared plus 4. And we're trying to find the x's that make that true. We can solve that just by subtracting 4 from both sides of the equation. Minus 4 is equal to a minus 2. This is really a nice way of solving this when it's in the vertex form. Divide both sides by 2, so this is going to be 2 is equal to x plus 3 quantity squared. I haven't managed my space here very well. Take the square root of both sides. Let's come over here. And we get plus or minus the square root of 2 on the left-hand side. Taking the square root of both sides. And x plus 3 on the right-hand side. So x is going to be equal to a 3 plus or minus the square root of 2. Those are the two x-intercepts. Oh, careful. I subtracted a 3 from both sides. It's a minus 3 plus the square root of 2 will give me a 0. A minus 3 minus the square root of 2 will give me a 0. Now the square root of 2 is about a 1.4 or a little less than 1.5. So minus 3 plus 1.5 would be about uh, 1.5. So over here, oh look, that's about where it's showing in our picture as well. A minus 3 minus a 1.5 would be a minus 4. Four and a half, one, two, three, four and a half, somewhere over there. Okay? So even when we rough that picture out because we knew the the uh, y intercept 
and we knew the vertex, we were coming pretty close to where those um, intercepts were going to be. Now we've got to get all of that to fit nicely on this particular graph. We need to be able to get down to a minus 14 and we need to be able to get up to 4. So we've got to, to fit all of that in place. I think if we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, put our, our x-axis about right there. There's my x-axis. And I can still go up one, two, three, four. Things are going to fit in just fine uh, there. And we'll put the y-axis somewhere here. Put the y-axis about right here. I needed to be able to get over to those x-intercepts, which I know is, is over to about a, a minus one and a half. Uh, and a minus one, two, three, four and a half, somewhere around in there. And over at a minus three. 1, 2, 3, up at 1, 2, 3, 4, there's the vertex, and down here at uh, 0, minus 14, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, so uh, there's where it's sitting, is about right like that. By symmetry, we could actually tell another point over here uh, that exists. So we'd want to label all of these points. This happens to be the point minus 3, 4. We knew that immediately just because of the form of the equation. This point, uh, 0, minus 14, we had to do a little bit of calculating for. And these two points we were able to solve. When things are in this form, it's easy to solve for the x-intercepts. It's easy to solve. That is equal to zero. Uh, this happens to be the point um, negative three plus the square root of two and a y value is zero. And this is negative three minus the square root of two and a y value of zero. Okay. That's how that one works.